is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Is the Lord in heaven send himself to us? Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations have surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I have overcome them. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This has been done by the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. To the Theotokos, let us run now most fervently. As sinners and lowly ones, let us fall down in repentance, crying from the depths of our soul. Lady, come and help us, have compassion upon us. Hasten now, for we are lost in the host of our errors. Do not turn your servants away, for you alone are a hope to us. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a star you have risen up in Christ's holy church and all you illumine by being wondrously revealed, O Fanurios Glorious, whence to those who praise your great struggles, O martyr, you a lot saving grace that from your miracles flows by interceding to the Lord for the souls of all of us. Forever into the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, we shall never be silent. Of your mighty acts, all we be unworthy. Had you not stood to intercede for us, who would have delivered us from the numerous perils? Who would have preserved us all until now with our freedom? O Lady, we shall not depart from you. For you always save your servants from all tribulation. Have, have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquities, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you, you alone, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in, my, and in sin my mother bore me. For behold, you have loved truth. You have made known to me the secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that bones which, that bones which you have broken may rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away, away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and establish me with the governing spirit. I shall teach transgressors. transgressors uh, your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. God will not despise a broken and humbled heart. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. 
and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall uh, they shall offer bowls on your altar. Crossing the waters as on dry land, in the way escaping from the evils of Egypt's land. Israelites cried out, exclaiming, Let us sing to our Redeemer and our God. O Soli Theo Toko, save us. Many temptations surrounding me, searching for salvation, I have sought refuge in you. O Mother of the Word and never virgin, from all disasters and dangers, deliver me. Holy Theotoko, save us. Assaults of the passions have shaken me. My soul to its limits has been filled with much despair. Bring peace, O maiden, in the calmness of your Son and your God, O blameless one. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. To God and the Savior you've given birth. I ask you, O Virgin, from the dangers to deliver me. For now I run to you for refuge, with both my soul and my reason Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. This is the body and the soul. Deem me truly worthy of divine guidance and your care. For you alone are God's mother. Maps of the heavens, are you a Lord fashioner? And, and the Holy Church, his great founder, likewise established me in constant love for you, for you the height of our longing, the port of the faithful, the only friend of all. Most holy Teotoko, save us, a protection and shelter. I have with you in my life, you the Theotokos and Virgin, pilot me towards your boy, for you are the cause, the cause of those who do is good, support of the faithful, and you only all praise one. Holy Theotokos, save us, I entreat you a virgin, disperse the storm of my grief. And the soul's most inward confusion scatter it far from me. You are the bride of God, for you have brought forth the cry. The Prince of Peace, O oh, oh, blameless one. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, having brought forth unto us the cause of giver of good. From your great abundance of kindness, pour forth upon us all, for all is possible, for you carry the Christ. It was mighty in power, you are the blessed of God. Most hope now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. With most serious ailments, and with a passion so dark, I am being tested, O virgin, come and bring help to me, for I have known of you that you are without fail, the endless treasure of yours. Deliver us, all of your servants, from danger of Theotokos. After God, we all flee to you. For shelter and covering as an unshakable wall and our protection. Turn to me in a favor of praiseworthy Theotokos. Look upon my great illnesses, which faithfully sting my flesh, and heal the cause of their souls in and suffering.
Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great love, we pray you hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Sava and all the clergy and the laity in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians, those who reside and visit in this city, the members, council members, contributors, and benefactors of this holy church. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the servants of God. Nathina, Samantha, Mary, James, Matthew, Nina, Melania, Calliope, Harry, Dangelia. With George and, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and voluntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For oh, you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. fervent prayer and warm us unshakable and merciful spring and shelter of all mankind. Fervently we cry to you, Theotokos, our Lady, come to us and from all dangers now deliver us. You who ye protection who speaks to us. Lord, I have heard of the wondrous mystery of your salvation. I have contemplated all your works, and I have glorified your great divinity. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Still the darkest of passions. Calm the sea of errors in your great peacefulness. It was you who bore the guiding God. And you are the blessed bride of God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Your death of compassion grant unto me as one beseeching you. You have carried the compassionate one, the Savior of those praising you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We are thankful for all the gifts which you have given to you, the spotless one. And to you we sing the hymn of praise, knowing you to be the, the mother, mother of God. God. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. As, As a hope and foundation, and a wall unshaken of our salvation, we have you be all out in one. Lord, enlighten us with your precepts that can guide our lives. And with your arm most powerful, grant to us your peace, O you who are the friend of all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Your one fill my heart with a merriment of happiness. Bestow on me, O our spotless joy. For you have given birth to him who is the cause of joy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Deliver all of us from the danger, Theotokos, most pure. For you bore the timeless deliverer, and you bore the peace, the peace which has surpassed all thoughts. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Disobey the cloud of my sinfulness, O bride of God, the brightness of your eminence. For you have brought the light divine, which was before all time. Now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. 
Heal me from the ills which the fashions bring most your one. Make me worthy of your guiding care, and unto me grant help through your intercessions and your prayers. Petition I pour out to the Lord, and to him I will confess all my sorrows. Many woes fill my soul to its limit, and unto Hades my whole life has now approached. Like Jonah, I pray to you, O God, now raise me from corruption. Most holy Theotok, save us from the death and corruption he has saved, my future help but death and corruption. For unto death he himself has surrendered, for which reason, O Virgin, please intercede with him who is your Lord and Son, from the enemy's evils deliver me. Holy Theotokos, save us. I know you as the protection of my life, a steadfast shelter and refuge of virtue. Disperse the host of my many temptations, and force away the demonic attacks from me. I pray to you unceasingly, from corruption of passions deliver me. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we have you as a world refuge, and our souls most perfect salvation. You are unsaved in affliction, O maiden, and in your light we rejoice to eternity. O Lady, hail so from the passions and dangers to the cross. Forever and to the ages of ages, amen. I lie now on a bed of infirmities, and there is no healing at all for my body, except for you, who has brought forth our Savior, God the healer of all our infirmities. Of your goodness I pray to you. From the Russian of sicknesses raise me. Deliver us, all of your servants, from danger the pale for After God, we all flee to you for shelter and covering. As an unshakable wall and our protection. Father's word, who by a word did bring to us the word eternal, in the last days ineffably, do you now plead with him as the one with the motherly favor. A protection of Christians unshameable, intercessor to our holy maker unwavering. Reject not the prayerful cries of those who are in sin. Instead, come to us for you are good. Your loving help bring unto us who are crying in faith to you. Hasten to intercede and speed now to supplicate as a protection for all time. They also close for those who honor you. From the years of my youth, many passions combat me. But you who are my Savior, assist me and save me. Haters, I shall be put to shame by the Lord Almighty. For as grass in the fire, you shall all be withered. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, every soul is living. Shining through purification, by the threefold oneness, in a hidden manner. Ages of ages, amen, by the Holy Spirit, streams of grace are flowing, watering. All creation, granting life eternal. I 
shall remember your holy name from generation to generation. Listen, O daughters, and see, incline your ear, and forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. I shall remember your holy name from generation to generation. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, o Lord, glory to you. In those days Mary arose and went in haste into the hill country to a city of Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, and why is this granted to me? that the mother of my Lord should come to me. For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed, for these will be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth, all generations will call me blessed, for who, he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her, her home. Glory to you, o Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, Word, and Spirit, Trinity in oneness, wash away my many personal offenses. Now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, merciful one, wash away. Mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. Put me not into the hands of any human protection, O Our Lady most holy, but do now receive the prayers of your supplicants. Sorrow has taken me, and I am unable to withstand and bear the demon's heart. Shelter I do not have, nor a place to go, worthless that I am, Lady of Humanity. The shelter of the faithful and their hope, do not reject my prayers to you, do the things that profit me. No one is turned away from you, shamed and empty holy unto you, O pure virgin failed of cause. But one who has for the favor and the gift is received in you, to the advantage of their own request. The transformation of the afflicted, you are the cure of those in sickness, Theotokos, O Virgin, save your people and your town. You are the peace of those in conflict, the calm of those in turmoil. The only protection of the faithful. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. 
Raise the Orthodox Christians to glory and shower us with your abundant mercies through the intercession of our all pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers of the honorable glorious prophet, the forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and all praised apostles, of our holy fathers, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon, Bishop of Trimethus, the Wonder Workers, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Triumphant, Demetrius the Myrrh Flowing, Theodore of Tiros, and Theodore the Commander, of the Holy Martyrs, Caralambos and Eleftherios, of the Holy Glory, Triumphant Martyrs of our Glorious and God-bearing Fathers, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and, and of all those who we celebrate today, and of all your saints, we beseech you, Lord, who alone are merciful, hear the prayers of our sinners, and have mercy on us. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Suchu yemi woman, suchu yemi woman, suchu yemi woman. By the mercy and compassion and love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Out of Judea was the young man to go to the land of Babylon, the flame of the furnace. They trembled down while chanting, with their faith in the Trinity. O oh, the God of our fathers, blessed are you, our God. Most holy Theotokos, save us, as you willed, O oh, your Savior, to dispense our salvation through your economy. Inside the virgin's womb, you shut to all the people that she has her own guardian. O oh, the God of our fathers, blessed are you, our God. Most holy Theotokos, save us, the bestower of mercy, that you bore up your mother and treat on our behalf. From sin deliver us, and from the soul defilement, we who cry out most faithfully, O oh, the God of our fathers, blessed are you, our God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, a fountain of pureness and a tower of safety, she who carried you, the treasure of salvation and the door of repentance. She has been shown to those that cry. O oh, the God of our fathers, blessed are you, our God. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. The illnesses of body and the soul veiling sickness of those who run to you for divine protection as God's Holy Mother, make them worthy a remedy for the Savior Christ. Was born of you. King of heaven who is praised and is hymned by the hosts of the angels. Praise him and exalt him throughout the many ages. Seek the help you grant, the hymn you mention, and maiden, and they do exalt you throughout the many ages. Most holy Theo 
Lord, look for save us. O Virgin, you pour a wealth of healing on those who faithfully hymn you. And those who exalt your child-bearing wonders. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The infirmities of my soul are healed by you, and the pains of my body, O Virgin, so that I may praise you, holy in God's favor. Now and forever, and to the ages of me, Drive away the assault of temptation and attacks of the passions, O Virgin. Therefore we do praise you throughout the many ages. Safe through you, O pure Virgin, and we do confess you to be most truly the birth giver of our Lord, requires of bodiless angels. You do we magnify. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The streams of my many tears reject not, holy virgin. For you give birth to the one who dried all our tears. From all the faces of people, the Christ was born of you. Holy Theotokos, save us. With gladness fill my heart. Most Holy Virgin Lady, for you are she who received the abundant joy. Take the grief of my sinfulness and make it disappear. Most Holy Theotokos, save us, a shelter and protection, and a wall unshaken, become a virgin for those who lead to you. A shelter of our and the place of joy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, O Virgin, from the brightness of your light illumine, the one to call you most piously, God Mother. Take all the gloom of our ignorance and banish it away. Amen. Oppressed, I am a virgin in a place of sickness. I have been humbled, I ask you to remedy. Transform my illness, my sickness into wholesomeness. Holy, you are worthy to be blessed. Mother of our God, the Theotokos, you the ever blessed one and the blameless one and the mother of our God. You are honored more than the cherubim and you are more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption declare God the Logos. You are the Theotokos. You do we magnify. Higher than the heavens above are you and you are much purer than the radiance of the sun. You are redeemers from the curses upon us. The lady of all people in hymns do we honor you. From the great multitude of my sins, I am in body, ill am I also in my soul. I am fleeing to Receive the supplications of the lonely who pray to you. Mediate between us the one you have born. O Lady of our people, intercede for us. Now we seal we chant with this so to you. Saints most holy, together is the Baptist. Beseech the Theotoko for God's mercy on us. Beseech 
Gracious he the lips of impious ones, those who do not reverence your great icon the sacred one, which is Carteretras and his gifted forms, by one of the apostles, Luke the evangelist, with the host of angels, God's messengers, with the Lord's forerunner and apostles, the chosen twelve, with the saints most holy, and with you the Theotokos, we seek your intercession for our salvation. Alomina. A blessed month to everyone as we start this new month and we start this beautiful season of Veca Pendal Gusto. That's a very fancy ecclesiastical <laughs> Greek word for the 15 days of August. And today begins this fast period until and including the 14th where we strict fast except Saturday and Sunday where wine and oil are permitted and on Monday the 6th of August, we are allowed to add fish because it is the feast of the Lord's Transfiguration on Mount Tabor. Now, having established that, the angels rejoice. And now the demons get busy. And now the demons start saying to us, but that's not for you. 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 Because obviously that's just for certain people. We don't have to strict fast. You know, it's my age. It's my health. It's my gender. It's I live in America, etc., etc. So here's the thing. What do doctors tell you about prescribed medication? Can you go to the pharmacy and go up to the counter and say, you know, I'm really not feeling too well. I like to have about seven Xanax. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. Do you? You know, I stubbed my toe. I like to have a 20-day supply of penicillin. And that's not going to happen either. What are they going to say to you? Love to help you, but please come back to us with a prescription. And so, where do you get that prescription? From the doctor. So if we're not going to follow the fast, or we think we're not, or we want to, it is really incumbent for us to speak to our father confessors, our spiritual fathers, who will, who know us, give us the appropriate guidance to tell us, this is good for you. And when you are obedient, when you and I share that obedience in Christ to them, then that is a good thing. And whatever we take, we know it is blessed. Now, our spiritual parents, our spiritual fathers, are very much like our physical parents. They always push us to excellence. So they're not always going to say, you know what, you're right. You know, you have this, that, and the other thing. Why don't you just do the very, very bare minimum? Well, it's not a bad thing, but they want us to grow to excellence. Excellence in the flesh? No. Excellence in the Spirit of God. So they'll push us a little bit. If food is an issue for us, they might say to us, I want you to read so much of Scripture, and I want you to do certain things. I want you to come to worship more often. Please understand the value of worship as the most intimate relationship with God. When we come to worship, we are in the most intimate environment. And here I have to make a parenthesis. And that parenthesis is the following. For some of us, Regardless of how many years of life we have on earth, there's certain language that means something to us. For some people, hearing it in a mother tongue means everything. Because there's a certain intimacy. For others, it is hearing it in a language that they really understand. And they don't have to think, they can just go with the flow. Both are correct. But here's the thing. I'm going to speak not on language of the ear, but the language of the heart. Because no matter how you hear the worship service, I can't imagine someone coming to worship and walking away frustrated. 
Because if you walked away frustrated, you brought your head and you left your heart in the car. You left your psyche, your soul in the car. And you came simply to be intellectually stimulated. What is awesome about Orthodox worship? It is mysterious. Now, when I say mysterious, I don't mean if you don't speak uh, Serbian or Greek or certain other languages, and that's how we present the service, you don't know what they're saying. Ah, that's mysterious. Well, I don't mean that. I'm talking about mysterious in what way? More than just the definition of the words. Because respectfully said, do you grade yourself when you express love to your children? Do you grade yourself when you express love to your parents, grandparents, or your spouse? When that expression of love is over, do you go and say, well, that wasn't that bad. You know, I could have done better. Uh, I really did hold myself back a little bit. No, absolutely not. You give your whole self. And that's how we should be with God in every situation. To give our whole self to God. And let God measure how He accepts. Let's not do it intellectually. So however we are in worship, we should be open-hearted. That we haven't come for pleasure, but we have come to offer love. Love to God through the presence of of his saints, the heavenly saints and the earthly saints. It's so easy for us in the world to follow things by the letter of the law. And trust me, there is benefit to live by the letter of the law. But in spirituality, if we're going to live by the letter of the law, we better be of the highest nature, the most disciplined, the most obedient, literally the most humble and not characterized by ourself, but be characterized by God. And I think in this case, we all benefit by living by the spirit of the law. You want an example? A police officer pulls you over, and they say to you, you've been going past the speed limit. How many of us begin the dialogue to try to explain, well, yes, that's true, but... And that but is somehow to justify our situation. And in most times, to be quite honest, it's authentic, it's real. I'm late for work, I'm late for school, I'm late for a doctor's appointment. It's not, <laughs> you know what, I, there were 10 cars around me, we were all going 85, I was just one of them with. Because then they're gonna say, well, guess what? You're the unlucky one. But if you really have a good reason, aren't you sharing it because you're asking for leniency. Another word for leniency is mercy. So honestly, when we present ourselves in worship, it is not to say, I am here, Lord, to worship you because I am most worthy to have taken Monday night or Wednesday night off to be here exactly at 643. No. It is that I have come here, Lord. Because I know you're here. And tonight we're offering ourselves a prayer of thanksgiving to your mother who literally bare or bore more than any human being not of divine nature could. We have heard in these days of the fires in Greece and in Redding, California, and we have heard of children dying in their parents' arms, being consumed by the fire. We have heard of a father, a husband, with his wife and his two children and his mother in the car, and he gets them all out quickly, and he's looking at his mother, he's looking at his wife and his kids, and he says, Mama, please come. And he picks them and he runs and he runs. They make it to safety. But his mother was left behind. And consumed by the earthly fire. It 
he not want to pick up his mother and carry her too? How does he make a choice between my children, my wife, my mother? See, God doesn't make that choice. wants to know what is our state of being? What is our state of our heart? For him to love us unconditionally to benefit us we have to be people of unconditional love. We have to bear one another's burdens. We have to forgive. We have to literally become the walking mat of others. That doesn't mean we don't hold up as best practice what we're supposed to do. And we're supposed to do that so we can all grow and mature. But we can't do that unless we have love. Because there's really two ways of saying a message to someone. It's one with love or one that is empty. Night and during these days, it is all about us going to our spiritual mother, us going to the all holy saint of saints, to the mother of God, who bore all things for the profit of our salvation. When we chant these beautiful hymns, let us with thanksgiving and, and appreciation go forward these days and embrace one another in peace repent of our own shortcomings, alleviate ourselves from the judgment of others, pull back from the cares of this life, unplug to some extent, and plug in to that which is of everlasting. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on Actually, we're turning to page 33, and we're going to chant, because now we are in this unique season, with a dismissal hymn of the saints whom we honor this day. And that is, we are going to remember St. Stephen, the first, uh, uh, the first martyr and archdeacon of the Lord. Your for the struggles you endured, O Christ God, a royal diadem crowns your head. O oh, first champion of martyrs, for you refuted the folly of the Jews, and beheld your Savior on the right of the Father, ever beseech him, therefore, for our souls. Vox patrice, o Dio pneumatique, nique aif, que isso se honas tu neonon amin, O apeon nos apocryphon, que angelis agnos con mysterion, via su Theo toi que tis epigis, pefanerote, Theos en asingido en osis arcumenos, que sabron ecusios, hiperimon cada vexamenos, viu anastis as ton protoplaston, esos en ectanatu, Tas psichas imon, on. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great love, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Gangan, we pray for Archbishop and Father Sava and all the clergy and the laity in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and the remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians, those who reside and visit in this city, the members of our council, contributors and benefactors of this holy church. Mary Lord and Kevin Kevin. Mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the servants of God, all pious and Orthodox Christians, for those who are under suffering and persecution, those in Greece and the West Coast who suffer from fires and floods. For the servants of God, Marianne, Kevin, Catherine, Christopher, Megan, Seth, Barrett, Infant, Evan. Again, we pray for the safekeeping of this holy church and this city and all the cities and towns from pestilence, famine, earthquake, flood, fire, and the sword, from invasion of enemies, civil war, and unforeseen death, for his mercy that he will be kind to entire and treat us as our good God, who love all people, and that he may turn away and scatter all wrath and disease that moves against us and deliver us from his impending justified chastisement and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray that the Lord God will hear the voice of the petitions of our sinners and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Mercy, Lord, have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of those who are far off upon the sea and show compassion on us, O Master, and our many sins, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have O oh, you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of your all pure and blameless Holy Mother, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of St. Stephen, the proto-martyr, who we commemorate today, we ce who celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. Please turn to page 37, and as we chant these hymns, we will make a prostration, and you will. Those who are in the chapel first will come and reverence the icon of the Mother of God, and will quietly come out down the steps, so I may anoint you with the miraculous tears of the Mother of God of Cardiotis. I will just do your forehead in the sign of a cross, and then those who are in the pews will come forward into the chapel and to do the same, and Father will anoint them. To apostles from far off, he gathered together in a village of Gethsemane. They my body in Son and 
Through the prayers of the Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Yes, because mine has gone out. <laughs> 